It may seem counterintuitive, but indoor plants don't have to grow in soil. As long as we provide the nutrients they need, they will also grow in soil-free environments. I'm a huge fan of hydroponics and it's becoming all the craze. Hydroponics is where the soil is replaced by different bases such as clay bores or perlite. We then add the feed that the soil would normally supply. There are different methods of hydroponics and today I'm going to show you an unfussy version which will help you create and cultivate your own little indoor nursery. There are many advantages to growing this way. There's no soil mess, which is a big bonus. Plants need less water and monitoring water levels is easy. If you go on a two week holiday, they won't need looking after. And this method eliminates fungus snaps. My two favourite materials to take the place of soil are clay bores, which is also known as LECA and stands for Lightweight Expanded Clay Aggregate, and the gardening favourite, perlite, which is volcanic rock that's been heated to an incredible temperature and then rapidly cooled. LECA are porous baked bores of clay that hold air, water and drain easily. If you use clay bores, you'll need to soak them overnight to get rid of the loose flakes and particles. When transferring plants from soil to a soil-free environment, you must wash the roots really well and very carefully. For each plant, you'll need two pots, one smaller than the other. The smaller one should be perforated to allow the nutrient-rich water to flow around the plant's roots, while the larger one needs to be watertight. If you don't want to buy a perforated pot, you could always punch holes into ones you've got lying around at home. Here I'm going to plant up this piece lily into clay bores. The clay bores provide a soilless structure for the roots to latch onto. I'm going to part fill the mesh pot then place my plant in the centre and backfill with some more clay bores. You can give the mesh pot a little shake just to help settle the clay bores between the roots. And fill to the top of the container. It can get a little messy. So that's basically it. And in a little while, I'll add the nutrient rich water. It's as simple as that. Clay bores tend to dry out quite quickly, so try plants that like good drainage. My favourites include Dracaenas, Philodendrons and Anthuriums. They love this medium as they would normally thrive in a loose soil mix that isn't too moist. A great alternative to clay bores, especially if your plants like a little bit more moisture, is perlite. It has many advantages. It's lightweight and cheap, and it can hold up to four times its own weight in water. Wet the perlite before using. This will reduce potentially hazardous dust particles. Moisture loving plants like this alocasia will love perlite, along with ferns, vegetable seedlings, philodendrons and anthuriums. Finally, we need to provide the water and feed. There are hydroponic fertilisers on the market or you could use a general liquid feed. Test the pH of the water, ensuring it's neutral, which is around 7, and adjust if necessary. Once you've tested your pH and added the nutrient solution, you can then water your plants to one third full. Top up the nutrient solution every couple of weeks. If you do need to pot on, you can reuse the perlite and clay bores. Just make sure you wash and sterilise thoroughly before use. And flush out the whole pot every couple of months by watering from above with plain water. This helps remove the buildups of salts and sediments. Nurturing pot plants without soil is an easy and simple way to add to your gardening skills and gives your plants a great new look. 
think of it as inviting a guest into your home who's clean, tidy, and provides a long-lasting friendship.